Okay, I'm going to show you how to log your users in to Superbase Auth using SMS OTPs with a Twilio integration. So you're going to need three things. You're going to need a Twilio account. You're going to need a new Superbase project or your existing Superbase project. And you're going to need a mobile phone where you can receive SMSs to test it all out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start a new Twilio project. Give it a name. Then you're going to put in your own mobile number, which is where you're going to receive the test SMSs. Once you've verified your number, they're going to ask for some information. And on this page, you want to select uh, SMS, identity and verification, because we're going to use it for authenticating users. Then we're going to say that we don't need help with hosting our code. And you can select any of these options here. Once you're on the Twilio dashboard, you'll see that we already have our account SID and the auth token, but we actually need one more thing. We need a mobile number to send SMSs from on the Twilio side. So for that, we need to click get a trial number and they'll show you a few options. You can choose whichever one you want. Say so choose this number. And you'll see now we have the three values we need, the account SID, the auth token, and the trial number. Now, if you go back to your Superbase project and on the left-hand side, hit authentication and go into the settings, you'll see a new option here, phone auth, and you can toggle on enable phone sign up. The only provider we support at the moment is Twilio, but we'll be adding more. And the first thing you want to do is copy across the three values here from the Twilio dashboard. So account SID, auth token, and for the Twilio message service SID, we can actually just use the sender trial number. So paste that in as well and hit save. Now that's it, the back end is set up and ready to go. All we need to do now is write some code in the client to send and receive the mobile pins. So if we go to API on the left-hand side, and hit user management. If you scroll down, you'll see that we've already generated some snippets for you to use. And the ones we want right now are to log in via SMS OTP using Superbase Auth sign-in. And once we've received the OTB, we need somewhere to send it. Um, and for that, we'll use Superbase Auth verify OTP. So what I'll do is I'll copy this snippet I'll load up Replit just to show you, but obviously this can be uh, your JavaScript project. It might be some other Python client or something like that, but for now we'll just use Node uh, just to show you how it works. And in the shell, we'll do an npm install at Superbase, Superbase JS. And now we have Superbase JS installed. We can start using it. So let's create a client. and initiate the Superbase client. For this, as usual, you'll need your Superbase URL and Anon key, which can be found on the settings page here. Copy the URL and then copy the Anon key. Paste it in there. And I'll just make a wrapper function so we can make some awaits. And then we'll say let error. And then we'll say superbase.auth.sign in. And for this, we can look back at the reference in the API docs here. And we know we just want to pass one argument, and it's the phone number that we're going to send the OTP to. You can put in your own mobile number here and make sure we check the error. So throw this as well, depending on your environment. And then just so we can test it out, we'll call the sign in method and hit run. 
Now you should have received an SMS from Twilio saying that your verification code is a six digit pin like this. And now we need somewhere for the user to send that back to us to verify that they actually control this mobile phone. And for that, we'll need to use the verify an SMS OTP option here, which is verify OTP. We can copy this. Let's make a new function verify. And this time you'll see that we're passing the same phone number. Uh, so the backend knows what it should be comparing the token to on the user side and the token itself that I've just received on my phone. Now there's a 60 second timeout here. So I've obviously gone over that 60 seconds in the time it's taken me to write this code. So I'm going to need to call sign in again to get a new token. Now that I've got the token, I'll put it in here and call my verify method. And the output you'll get will be something like this, um, an access token, a token type, uh, expiry and a refresh token. I'll just paste it in here so we can see it more clearly. And so this is the same access token that you would receive if you logged in with an email and password or if you logged in with uh, Google Auth or GitHub Auth or something like this. And because we've done this via Superbase JS, now if I just start requesting data um, or trying to insert data using Superbase JS, it'll do everything as that user. Um, so we don't explicitly need to set this anywhere if we're using Superbase JS. Now, the only other thing I'll show you is a slightly different option. If you don't want the user to have to put in an OTP every time they log in, um, then you can add a password as a parameter here. Say my password, change this to sign up. And now if we sign the user up with a phone and password, they'll be asked to verify their OTP once in order to confirm the phone number. And then in future, they can just use the sign in method again with the phone number and then password to log in each time. So very similar to an email password setup, but where the phone number is acting as the identity. Now, the only thing to be careful of here is phone numbers aren't necessarily permanent like email addresses are considered to be. So if someone moves country or they end their mobile phone contract, then they actually give up their phone number and those phone numbers can be recycled. So if you rely on the phone number as the primary identity, you just need to be aware that it's possible that in the future someone else might control that number and therefore control any accounts that you set up with that mobile phone number. Um, so it might be useful to use it as a secondary identifier um, and we've got multi-factor auth coming soon um, but for now just something to be aware of if you're using uh, phone number and password only for login and that's it if you have any questions uh, you can ask in our github discussions which is github.com superbase slash superbase slash discussions um, we have a discord now and you can email us on support at superbase.io.